Welcome to the Great Glen and Scotland's first formal canoe trail. The Caledonian Canal, which follows the natural geological fault lines running from Fort William on the west coast to Inverness on the east, was built nearly 200 years ago and is becoming more and more popular with people wishing to paddle this stunning 60 mile route. Only 22 miles of the Great Glen Canoe Trail are in man-made canal, so the canoe trail should not be undertaken lightly. Two of the lochs, Loch Lochy 12 miles and Loch Ness 22, are classed as open water and have had waves as high as 4 metres recorded. With the prevailing winds from the southwest, most groups who take on the challenge of the Great Glen Canoe Trail start off in Fort William in the west and paddle eastwards. The trail can be paddled in either open canoes or sea kayaks over three to five days, depending on the size of your group, your experience and the weather conditions. Touring kayaks are becoming more popular too and are also suitable for shorter day trips. For experienced paddlers who wish to travel independently, the Great Glen Canoe Trail website has many resources to help you plan your route, offer important safety advice, ideas for accommodation, and even where you can pre-order fresh food supplies. You can even find information about the Caledonian Canal Canoe Licence and apply easily online if your group require one. For those wishing to take on the canoe trail with less paddling experience, there are a number of local providers that offer guided trips with qualified instructors to ensure your safety. These local companies can also provide all the equipment you require for the trail, plus they take care of the equipment shuttling and canoe license to allow you to sit back and enjoy the beautiful highland scenery. There are several types of accommodation available in the Great Glen, from hotels to commercial campsites. Wild camping is not permitted on the canal banks, as it is a scheduled ancient monument. However, informal camping spots have been designated along the canal banks, and wild camping is possible on the shores of the lochs. Remember to follow the Scottish Outdoor Access Code. Whether it's a day trip or a full coast-to-coast -coast paddling adventure, the Great Glen has something to offer all levels of paddlers. Our message is simple. Plan, stay safe, enjoy and leave no trace.